Hi, my name is Stephen McGee and I'm the author of Toxic Health. I'm here today to look into LED light bulbs. And this particular light bulb is one of the new ones. I actually purchased it today and uh, we're going to test it out with both a radio and a tri-field meter and we're going to see exactly what it does with electromagnetic interference. I'm going to start off with the radio. As you can hear, there's interference on the radio. I'm tuned in to AM 530 where there's no radio station. So we only have static on the band at this location. So our field is extending by about three feet of radio waves, wide band radio waves, out of this light bulb. As we can see, the field is actually going down the cable and into the home wiring. So, we're now going to progress on with some tests using the tri-field meter. And we're going to start off on the 0 to 100 range. And as you can see right now, we have a 0 reading. Let's see what happens when we approach the light bulb. So actually at the light bulb, we're actually reading about 3 milligauss. And that really goes up at the base of the light bulb and we're actually now reading 15 milligauss. Now we're at almost zero on the cable. So the magnetic fields are originating at the light bulb and the electronic that the electronics are in this section of the light bulb. So our next test is going to be an electric field test. Let's see what happens. So we can see actually at the light bulb we're actually off the scale. And the needle is somewhat flickering. And that's probably due to the electronics that are in this light bulb controlling it. Let's take a look at the cable. It's quite normal to get electric fields on electric cables, so you shouldn't be too surprised with that. I'm reading about 25 on the cable. At the light bulb, there's definitely some very, very interesting electric fields around this light bulb, which appear to be much higher than normal. And they extend out at least three feet. So our final setting is the radio setting. Let's see what we get. So we've got zero at the light bulb and also zero on the cable. Now we're going to switch this LED light out for a conventional filament light. We're going to see how this compares. So back to our standard AM radio. So we have no detectable radio waves. Now, 
we're going to test it with the tri field on the 0 to 100 range. And we don't appear to have any significantly detectable fields staying around 0. So we're now switched on to the electric field setting. Let's see what we can find. Especially at the light bulb we have a field of 3. And that increases to about 20 to 25 here. And that cable again it's about 20. So we now switched over to radio. Let's see what we find. So we appear to have no detectable radio field. So as we can see the conventional filament light bulb is quite different to this LED light bulb. Uh, for that reason I don't recommend that people adopt these LED light bulbs until more is known about the fields that they produce and uh, its impacts on human health. The potential impacts of radio waves may lead to radio wave sickness and electromagnetic hypersensitivity if the fields are too intense for the human body. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and I wish you the very best of health. Thank you.